Working on a domain's online presence is a lot like driving a car for the first time. Better yet, a camel through the desert. Though the basic mechanics of it might be familiar, there's a vast landscape to cross and a lot of humps to overcome to be successful. What you need is an advanced dashboard to analyze and manage all the working parts of your domain and its pages. Not only to steer your campaign in the right direction, but also uncover valuable information about your competitors. All of your competitors. To get started, simply type in a URL into SpyFu. For this example, I'm going to use Livestrong dot com slash blog. And here is the brand new URL page. You can see that we organized your dashboard into four main sections. The URL's organic keywords, its PPC keywords, then its matching pages and competing pages. First I want to show you the basics of the SEO advantages that the new URL page brings. We created this page so you could really dig into a domain. In this case, the Livestrong blog. Keep in mind that this is not data for the overall Livestrong.com, but instead the specific data for the blog and its corresponding URLs only. This is super helpful when you're wanting to dig into the details of your site or your competitions. It's excellent to have a grasp not only on how a domain is doing as a whole, but also its very specific categories, whether it's the blog page, videos, or departments. The significance of this can be summed up in the subtotal section. When all these rows are added up, this is how much they're worth. We get this number based on how much traffic a page gets compared to the cost per click, and thus estimating an SEO value relative to what this link would cost if purchased in AdWords. There's a huge advantage to estimating and assigning a value to specific content, pages, or sections. Knowing how much Liv Strong's blog is worth as compared to Men's Health blog is awesome. You can actually see which specific pieces of content are succeeding and build similar content to rank on specific keywords. The full scope on how the new URL page maximizes your content can and will be a video of its own. But I can assure you, if you dig into these sections, you're going to find information that will knock your camel riding socks off. The more you click on view more, the more accurate the subtotal is going to be towards the actual value of that page. But since SpyFu automatically organizes it so the most valuable keywords are shown to you first, this number will raise less and less each time you click on view more, because the keywords it will add are less and less valuable. And, like I said before, you can dig into any page on this domain. Simply click on the corresponding link and bam, you get another URL page that details only the keywords from that specific page. You can go as deep as you want into a domain's blog, or videos, or, I don't know, guide to getting women, and dig down to the very post. This is awesome, because now you know not only what domain is ranking on certain keywords, but you can zoom in to find out what keywords the exact section or precise piece of content is ranking on. If you want to see any of these pages with your own eyes, simply click on the Take Me To icon and it will show you the actual page. Or if instead you would like to return to the parent page, all you have to do is click on the Folder Up icon at the top and get back to where you would like to go. As always, SpyFu gives you a ton of stellar data for these keywords, such as where the blog page currently ranks on these keywords, the cost per click for broad, phrase, and exact matches of these keywords. The ranking difficulty, the amount this keyword is searched per month for broad, global, and local. The estimated amount of monthly clicks this domain gets from this keyword, and the estimated value of those clicks in dollars. And then of course you have our cached cert page and a link so you can get the full organic ranking history that this URL has had on this keyword for six years. So you can see, in essence, when a specific article was published or picked up by Google. It's interesting to see the actual URL possibly in contrast with what the overall domain ranked on. Finally, you can add these keywords to an existing weekly SERP tracking report or create a new one for this campaign. The AdWords section gives important information for those working in PPC, which the Livestrong blog is not. So I'm going to type in a domain into the search box. HomeDepot.com this brings us to the main domain search, which is more handy for domains like this. But if you'd like to get back to the URL page, simply click on View Site or scroll down and click on any subdomain. 
The keywords here are sorted by broad cost per day for that URL. The higher the cost, the higher the keyword is. If you're looking for a specific keyword, you can type that keyword into the filter box and click filter. You can also do this in the SEO section and it will give you only the keywords that match or include the one that you typed in. For the PPC section, we give you details like your position on this keyword compared to your advertising competitors, the cost per click of this keyword, the total number of advertisers on this keyword, the amount of times it was searched a month, the times it was clicked per day, and how much those clicks cost. Pretty much all of them include the exact phrase or broad match versions of these keywords. Just like in the SEO section, we give you a screenshot of all this so you can double check our work. And of course, if you want more details on any specific keyword, simply click on the history button, which will then give you all you need to know about a particular keyword and who has been bidding on it. The matching pages section shows you the additional pages for your search. So for example, HomeDepot.com will also show you links to retail items and item categories. For the Livestrong blog, it gets into more specifics on the actual content, such as Livestrong blog, for steps to get back into shape. This is a simple way to show you exactly which pages are included for all the data you're seeing above. You may have also noticed these little social icons. These basically show you how popular your content is on social networking sites. Specifically, how much it's been tweeted, liked on Facebook, shared on Facebook, posted to LinkedIn, pinned, or added to Google+. The competing pages section shows you all of the pages that compete with this one, or more specifically, the ones that show up on many of the same search results as this page does. These competing pages could also be a great target for inbound or even outbound links. When looking at blog articles, it gives you a great comparison to what other content around the web is battling you for ranks. Keep in mind that this is for the specific page that you're looking at, and pages often have different competitors than the overall domain does. For example, Livestrong.com's competitors are RxList, Drugs.com, and WebND, medicinal sites. But when I look at the Livestrong blog page, I get results for Men'sHealth.com slash fitness, MNN.com slash food slash healthy eating, SnackGirl.com slash snack slash low calorie peanut butter, a lot more nutrition and exercise. This will vary between each page of your site as to pinpoint the exact competition for each section or specific piece of content, giving you content inspiration and linking opportunities in the same vein. Finally, for any of these sections, you can click on the export button, which will give you a detailed CSV of this data that you can take with you. There are a lot of things you can do with this data to get a full perspective of your domain and gain a lot of insight about how your competitors are advertising, what kind of content they're building, and what it's all worth. Use this information to maximize your pages by optimizing your performance and learning from their competitors' success. Thank you for watching.